guys. Welcome to Rock Talk 210 Metalhead here. I hope you like the uh, scenery. Happy New Year's! <laughs> Fellow Metalheads! We've got a great show for you. This is, uh, this is the first edition of Rock Talk. And I think you're going to like it a whole lot because we're doing the top 10 of the decade. This is the top 10 metal, metal like slash uh, punk bands of the decade. And uh, I'm going to, you got to be metal, you got to be punk, and I got to like you. Those are like the, the three criteria of getting on this list. So, hey, let's kick it out, guys. In at number 10, we're going to give it two. The pop punk duo out of Belleville and Ajax, Ontario. Some 41 Canadian punk rockers still rocking today with punk princess Avril Lavigne. Steve O and Derek guys, very very cool. They're 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 held up at a Hollywood condo right now, making their new albums. In at number 10, that is it. Number nine comes in it. You gotta go with some slip, not a eh? like I'm a big Jory Jordison fan. One of the heaviest bands on the planet. The Kiss thing's still going, and I love it when they like do that thing with the keg on the drums. Wow, wow, wow. It's like, in at number nine, Slipknot. Number eight, Melissa Off Tomorrow. Oh, oh, sexy, sexy, whole, Courtney Love. Um, Smashing Pumpkins with Billy Corgan. And an Off Tomorrow project still going on in Montreal, Canada. Totally, totally awesome for a kick-ass Canadian bass player. The best, probably one of the best musicians in Canada. Melissa Ostemar, rock and roll. In number seven, guys. Was totally stoked for this year. First experience with these guys this year. Trivium. Trivium. A Florida heavy metal band headed up by Matt Happy and the boys. Totally, totally. They, they come up to Canada like three, four times a year. It's totally awesome. Travis Smith on the drum kit. Slick. Slick metal. Thrashiness to the rats. Really, really, really good stuff. In at number six, it's, 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 a, it's a cool slide in. Um, some may question it, but I'm going with Billy Talent. The boys from Mississauga. Very, very cool. Red Flag. Red Flag is totally, totally awesome. A very cool Canadian act, guys. Uh, in at number five, guys. We're going with uh, we're going with all the local talent. Huron Bruce, the Green Party of Canada. We got bands up in this pot Elgin part of the world like Blunt, totally hardcore metal. Um, from a Tyrant, Ossified, Sins of Affliction, Tuesday Social. There's a ton of talent in Huron Bruce, and a special mention to Weed, the pot activist band that supports uh, Mark Emery. All right, rock and roll. Now we're now we starting now we're starting to get serious because now some guys are going to go like, what, what are we talking about here? In at number four, in at number four is Biff Naked, the Queen, the Queen, the Queen, the Queen. That's what I'm talking about. The Queen, the Queen of Punk, baby. Come on, guys. Totally, totally awesome. Totally awesome. Uh, saw her up in uh, Owen Sound. It was it was a great great show. Um, she, like security, she really got me. Like when Tango Shoes came out, that was it. That's like punk pop princess heaven or something. Now we get really serious, and a lot of people are going to question me on this one. But totally, listen to this. In at number three is Wednesday Thirteen. You got to check out Frankenstein Drag Queens from Planet Thirteen. You gotta check out the Murder Dolls with Jory Jordison from Slipknot, and uh, the guy behind it all, his name is Joseph Poole. He's he's like West Virginia or something, somewhere in the southern U.S. Um, he's like a, like a modern day version of like Jerry. You guys know Jerry, right? Jerry only in the Misfits, it's where all this started, the horror goth punk scene. It's like totally, totally, totally rad. It's 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 amazing. Okay, so now we're down to number two. Number two, I don't think anybody's even going to question this. 
comes in at the offspring. The offspring, a ton of punk hits. It, it feels like the Ramones are still around. Joey and Johnny and Dee Dee and hats off to Dexter and Noodle. Shit is fucked up. Shit is fucked up. Nice. I even learned the word awesomer. Awesomer is like now a word. It's a, it's a hunting ping beach band. Uh, totally, totally cool. Uh, peace to the guys in Avenged Sevenfold because their drummer, you know, Jimmy the Rev, he died on Monday this week. It's a, kind of a sad week in, in heavy metal. Um, and, and, and I hope these guys get through it all right. Like, peace to you guys. You guys rock out. James Sullivan, cool. Hunting the Beach Band. And uh, now we go for number one. And their song. Their song just ended as they came in at number one. How ironic is that? But uh, number one, guys, goes to Anvil. 30 years it took the boys to make it, guys. That's inspiration. We need that. It's gratitude. The founders. The founders of Metal on Metal. In 1982, in 1982, bands like Metallica, Slayer, Pantera, God Bless, Dying Bag, Daryl, Megadeth were not born. Anvil in Toronto was leading the way. Lee Aram was on the Canadian metal scene. She was the metal queen. Oh, check this out. Like, somebody give me this this week. It's like a little Lee Aram mini cassette. Oh, sweet, sweet. But you know, Anvil, Lips, Robo, Glenn 5, Rocket. This stuff is metal one on one, baby. It's of course all on its own. Uh, you guys are the godfathers of uh, Canadian metal. See you January 8th in Toronto. Totally stoked. This is the uh, first edition of uh, Rock Dot Guys. This week's edition. Hope you like it. Billboard magazine called Nickelback the band of the decade. You know, two points for Canada. Not sure on that one, but uh, thumbs up for Mark Emery, guys. The Prince of Pot. You know, a Canadian martyr. Harper's a poser. Two points for Hugh Dillon. Hugh Dillon. I know the headstones are like probably dead, but hey, Flashpoint. Good show. Rock and roll. Peace out, guys. Bombs away. Bombs away, Stephen Harper. That's the script, baby. Glenn Smith, band manager. And a special rock and roll to uh, Dee Dee, the bass player, and Sid Vicious, and Melissa Oftemar. Rock and roll, guys. Cool to the bass players. Peace out. And uh, we're just going to like play around for a bit, see what we're doing. Because now the script ran out, so we're going to have to stop recording.